NASA is about to embark on the age of practical space flight with the first orbital flights of the space shuttle, an orbital vehicle the size of a medium jet airliner. During 1977, the Dryden Center undertook the first approach and landing tests of the space shuttle, air launching it from the back of a Boeing 747. A special aerodynamic fairing was installed on the tail of the shuttle to smooth the airflow around the vertical fin of the 747. Eventually, however, NASA tested the space shuttle without the tail fairing in order to assess its performance in the configuration it will have when returning from Earth orbit. The test demonstrated that the shuttle has acceptable landing performance, another milestone in the space shuttle development program. Eventually, when the space shuttle becomes operational, NASA will launch the space shuttle from the NASA Kennedy Space Center. The shuttle will be boosted into orbit, place a scientific payload into Earth orbit, position itself for re-entry, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, and glide down to a landing on Rogers Dry Lake. That milestone of flight will represent another chapter in the history of the NASA Dryden Flight Research Center, a center with a long heritage of accomplishment, a center looking forward, accepting new challenges, new responsibilities.